Oh. Traveller Tales 5, I believe. Hello, bird. Put it down, darling. Put it down. Yeah. Hello. Traveller Tales 5. I think it's 5 anyway. We'll see. Now, this would be the last one, really, unless you want to ask me anything specific about the travelling life or whatever, then we just draw this to a close now. Um, so this one, Traveller Tales 5, I'm going to call it Romance versus Reality. It's a good title, actually. Thank you very much. Romance versus Reality. Now, we all do this and we do it all the time, don't we? If you move, you move 500 miles away. Before you move, you say, oh, I'm, I'm going to get a great house in a lovely area my neighbors are going to just adore me i'm going to get a great job as well and the job's going to be very well paid and have some great work colleagues and buy a new car and a couple of holidays you know and we play this mind game with ourselves it's the romance of it and we get carried away with the romance of it the reality if you move 500 miles away it's likely to half cripple you it's a long drive you probably end up missing your friends, your family, your work colleagues, whatever, because it's a long way. Um, the house will be basically the same as the house you've got. You've still got to clean the bath, still got to do the washing. The neighbours, on the whole, don't really talk to you, but they didn't where you live anyway. And you get a job, and it's just the same old job, really. So that's the reality of it, you know. So, And we all do that, and that's with everything, every last thing. So the romance versus reality of being a traveller, and we're all guilty of this, as I say, really, is to think, this really is for the, either the people that have just started out in van life or are kind of just about thinking of it. Um, not for those that know it, because they know this. But the romance side of it, you think, wow, you know, I'll buy a van and it'll be lovely and warm and cosy and I can hang some pictures and... Um, I'll be sat by a bubbling brook in, in the middle of the spring and it's lovely and warm. I have a cold can of beer on a rope hanging down in this little stream, this crystal clear stream. And a neighbour will pop out and we'll have a little chat and, oh, you live in your van? Wow, that's cool. Let me have a look. Wow, wonderful. Here's some wood for your fire. That's the romance of it, you know. Um, I've got no regrets being a traveller for four years, none whatsoever, and some of that actually is true, or virtually true, and it's even better than that. Um, we've got to remember the reality side of it, and it will be cold at times. There is a thing called winter, believe it or not. You know, the romance just tells you it's like mid-spring to early summer all the time, and it's not. So yeah, you've got to get through the winter. Now, I know it's only a couple of months, really, in, in this... Um, you know, in the UK, really, we don't get a bad winter, not normally. So we can get by it. Otherwise, people wouldn't bother living in a van, would they? Um, but the reality is you've still got to go to work or you've still got to earn some money. You've got to empty your toilet cassette. You've got to go down the laundrette and do your washing and clean the vehicle. And you might get a little knock at two in the morning by the police or whatever. It all depends where you're parked up, you know. So... There is the reality side of it. You've got to keep on top of your vehicle as well. You've got to MOT it. Um, insurance and, and tax, they don't come free, you know. You've got to earn that money. There's quite a lot of driving involved. And to lift gas bottles is quite heavy. Um, that's the reality of it, really. You know, and it's important to remember there are two sides. The romance versus the reality, you know. And not to forget the romance, because it is a little bit of both, really. You know, it is incredible. I have no regrets. I've just said that. I have no regrets. Four years. Um, I wish I could have done it longer. If my health was better, I would have done it for much, much longer. The romance side of it is a little bit of partly what you're thinking, you know, about sitting near a little stream somewhere, you know, and um, chilling out under Mr. Solar Face and not having to go to work and not having any stress and worry about bills and a boss, you know. There's a lot of that that comes into it. Of course there is, a hell of a lot. Um, and we can create our life or we can carry on as as we are. You know, if you are just starting to be a van dweller, you can please yourself, you know. I chose to create my life like most people do, so therefore work had to go, my house had to go. 
Um, and then I start to think, okay, what do I do now for my income? Can I employ myself? Can I work part time? Employment agencies, etc., etc. You know. So you start thinking along those lines, really, and things just start coming to you and start panning out. That's the reality side of it, the good reality side of it. And you end up feeling less stressed, less bored. You don't feel stuck at work. You're not going to work your balls off until you're 65. You know, you've got a plan now. And the plan is to live your life. Don't just exist at work Monday to Friday. Go away for the weekend Monday to Friday. Go away for the weekend. It's not about that. You know, it's about living the van life. Really living. And totally embracing it. You know, and there's a bit of romance there. There's a bit of uh, reality there, you know. Anyway, so that's it really. So, yeah. Traveller Tales 5, if you want me to make a video Traveller Tales 6, then let me know what you want me to make it about, because um, not I'm running dry, but I don't want to make it about the most obvious things in the world. They are out there. There's lots of forums, there's lots of groups, there's lots of Facebook groups you can join, there's lots of videos, there's certain channels that only talk about fan dwelling. I think there's enough that you can do if you want to without me sat here babbling on as well. And I can only talk about my own personal sort of point of view anyway. I can't give you a, a generalised view of things because I did it my way. But yeah, so romance versus reality. All I'm saying is take a good dose of both. Because things sometimes will kick you up the ass. There's your reality. Sometimes, pleasantly, things will very, very... I don't know, they're, they're, they're kind of shocking, surprising, beautiful, and you think, wow. You know, and there's loads I could tell you, you know, just pulled into a little area, nobody was there. Within 20 minutes, a couple of vans joined me. I didn't know these people. We shared a um, barbecue, and it was absolutely fantastic. We spent a couple of days together, bimbling, having a laugh, the dogs all roaming around, and I met some fantastic, wonderful friends that night. And that's kind of the romance of it, really. But that's also another dose of reality, is there are so many good sides as well. But don't forget the bad sides. Take care then. Be well. Back soon.